What's up everybody? It's Natalie, it's Hot Shot Adventures. Happy New Year! This year is gonna be whatever we make of it. It's probably gonna be tough and it was tough last year, it was tough the year before. Life is gonna bring us challenges and we need to just do our best to prepare for them and work hard, be diligent, those are all the same things that I would have told you for 2019, 2020, and now in 2021. That stuff doesn't change. The spot market may change, may go up, may go down. The types of stuff that we haul may change, but all of the other tips that I can give you guys, they're all going to be the same. It is time. 50,000 mile review of my 2020 F350. Now, the truck is actually at 55,000 miles. And to be quite honest with you, I don't have a ton to report. Uh, I think that that's a good thing, uh, but we're gonna get into how I feel about the truck now 55,000 miles later and nine months later. I am very, very pleased with this truck's performance. I am very pleased with Ford. I'm very pleased with the computer and how they programmed it. I'm very pleased with the engine. I'm very pleased with my, my, my MPG. <laughs> you know, on this, on this last trip, I had a trailer wiring issue. It has nothing to do with the truck, but the truck's computer, one could say, the truck's computer potentially saved my life because it gave me the trailer wiring fault notification on my console and had nothing to do with the truck but the truck was able the technology in the truck was able to read that there was an issue with the wiring in my trailer now a much 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 older truck probably you're not going to have that technology overall i'm still seeing the same mpg that hasn't changed in these 55,000 miles uh, there was one recall uh, so far, there's been one recall on this truck, and that was for the front mounted, the camera that's mounted at the front of the truck. Sometimes it would function, and apparently sometimes it would not. Seeing that it had to do with the camera, it wasn't a huge deal for me. I didn't run off to the dealership to get it taken care of. Uh, I have had recently a trip to the dealership, and that was for maintenance, which I'll get into in a second. And when I did drop the truck off for, for some regular maintenance, I told them, hey, it's got a recall, check it out, let me know. And so how Ford has decided to deal with that is they got enough complaints about the front camera, they are swapping them all out. Other than that recall, I haven't had any other issues. As far as recalls go, I will tell you guys, the truck's engine performance is fantastic. I haven't seen a drop in power. I haven't seen a uh, more strain, feels, feels or hears like there's more strain on the transmission. I do not, and I will tell you guys this again, I do not baby this truck. The truck, I expect her to perform and she needs to perform. She needs to keep up with me. I tend to work pretty fast and pretty hard and I expect the same from my equipment. I've never been a Ford fan but my first truck from Enterprise was a Ford and I purchased this Ford. And since this Ford, I've purchased another Ford. For my purchases, what I have purchased and my experience with the 19, the 2019 F350 that I had rented from Enterprise, as well as this 2020 and my 2016, I am, I am very pleased. So that being said, you guys, I really don't have a lot to tell you. Not, not a ton of recalls. I haven't had any issues with the engine and I'm pleased. I don't feel like there's any loss in power or any loss in performance whatsoever in this truck. So now let's talk a little bit about maintenance. I am a firm believer in maintenance. It is a huge make or break deal whether your vehicle is going to last as long as the manufacturer says it should or not i must remember that this truck is just not some grandma's truck that is going to haul around her 
you know, RV trailer or whatever, you know, once every other month. This truck is being put through its paces and it's being asked to perform heavily on a daily basis. So when we think about that and we think about maintenance, you got to realize that if you're asking your vehicle to perform really hard all the time, then you need to expect to maintain it. You put it on a maintenance schedule and stick to that schedule regardless of the cost, the time, where you're at in the country. So as far as maintenance, I'll just kind of give you guys a little bit of what I've done. These are fairly new tires. I replaced the four rear tires on my truck at about 45 or 47,000 miles. These are Goodyear Wrangler all-terrain tires. I did not have to replace the tires in the front. Here's the other side of the tires. Wrangler all-terrain. I did not have to replace the tires at the front, my, my drive tires, I should say. I replaced the four in the rear. The reason why I changed the four in the rear before I went on the Wyoming trip was because the tires on the passenger side were wearing a lot faster than the tires on the driver's side rear, the rear tires on the driver's side. Now, if you guys have also experienced that, please let me know. Leave a comment below. Let me know. Um, I, the only thing I could personally think of was uh, the road and the fact that I pretty much live in the slow lane. So um, with all those bumps and everything and the road, you know, angle and stuff like that. Potholes as well on the passenger side, primarily on the passenger side of the road, right? And the fact that I, I run primarily in California where there are all the potholes seem to live is right here in my backyard. <laughs> so I really didn't want to pay a thousand bucks for the tires, but you know, it, it was the safest move for me to make. And that's what I did. Replaced the four tires in the rear. Uh, I think my tread was like at three, uh, on the passenger side and five and six on the driver's side. So again, you guys, if you got any insight or any experience on, on that uneven rear tire wear, let me know. You guys know I am running a test. I am running for me. I'm trying out running full synthetic oil, Ford, full synthetic Ford oil at every oil change. Uh, I try to get the oil changed also every seven to 8,000 miles. It says every 10,000 miles, or I like to call what I do with this truck as severe, severe conditions, severe wear, severe driving. So when I look at the maintenance schedule, that's what I put it under. When I call Ford, my dealership in, in Redlands, where I take my trailer, where, where I take my truck when I'm in that area, I say, hey, I use this truck, you know, tell me what the severe, severe duty, whatever maintenance is on X, Y, and Z. And they tell me, well, you know, suggested is this, we would say do it at this interval if you're using it so, so heavily. So that's what I do. Simple as that. This is a test. We will see if this truck's the lifespan of this truck ends up lasting me longer in the long run. More miles, better, better overall life of this truck. We'll see how it goes. So that covers oil changes, fuel filters. I do every other oil change. The truck was just in, the truck was just at the dealership and I had them flush the antifreeze and flush the transmission fluid. Check that recall and they did the differential, the oil and the differentials. It cost me a pretty, it cost me a pretty penny. But there is a difference, you guys, for those that are newer or those that are not mechanically inclined, let me tell you now, there is a difference between draining and refilling and flushing, okay? Those are two totally different things. And when you're running a truck as hard and as long as this truck is running, 
a flush is, in my opinion, nine times, ten times better than of a drain and replace. Um, there are tiny, teeny, tiny little particles in your oil and your transmission fluid, in your antifreeze, all that stuff breaks down and just draining it doesn't get it all out. Flushing it, it has to be back flushed out. All of it has to go and then fresh new stuff gets put in. So I chose to get the antifreeze and the fluid, uh, excuse me, the antifreeze and the transmission fluid flushed uh, a little early because I do consider this truck to be under severe use or heavy heavy use so i did it a little early there's nothing wrong with that in my opinion there's nothing wrong with that Fifty-five thousand miles you guys i'm still in love with the she beast you will probably see me out on the road at some point i'm very pleased with her performance i cannot tell you nothing about ram or chevy because i don't have one of those yet uh, but we will see what the future brings nobody nobody knows what the future will bring and that is can either be an exciting thing or it can be a dreadful thing it is whatever you make of it just like the rest of this year it is going to be whatever you make of it so let's go kill it in 2021 you guys